There are a lot of strange and unbelievable phenomena in our universe. Take, for example, this spinning top. Once rotating, the top spins for a long time because it rotates almost frictionless on our Earth. But, eventually, it stops spinning. Why? On one hand, there is friction between the spinning top and the tabletop because of gravity. On the other hand, particles in the air hinder the top from spinning forever. However, if we go into outer space, we will discover something very strange. A spinning top in outer space will never stop rotating because there is absolutely nothing that could slow it down. The planets, too, have been rotating for billions of years without the need for some kind of engine or energy source. This is also true for our Earth. With all its oceans and its atmosphere, it has been rotating with an almost uniform velocity for billions of years without a constant energy source. Even if there are never-ending currents and flows within our atmosphere, our oceans, and below the crust of our Earth, these currents and flows take place independent of the Earth's rotation because our Earth is a closed system. That is, these currents and flows do not have an impact on the rotation of the Earth. This will be demonstrated with the following examples. A hose ejects water into the ocean. The hose is connected to a pump and a water reservoir. The water reservoir is not connected to the ocean the arising forces cause the boat to move. However, when a dome is mounted on the top of the boat, creating a closed system, the jet of water cannot escape the boat. Consequently, the boat will not move. When the jet of water is directed into a funnel, a closed cycle builds up. In that way, the boat with the dome is a closed system, just like our planet we live on. As soon as the jet of water is directed to the side, the boat will rotate. However, when the jet of water is directed into a system of funnels, which form a loop and consequently a closed cycle, the boat will not move. Those never-ending currents and flows take place in our atmosphere and oceans. These flows are not able to stop the Earth from rotating or to increase its speed because the Earth is a closed system rotating with a constant velocity. The energy of atmospheric and ocean flows can be captured by hydroelectric power plants and wind farms and converted to electrical power without stopping the Earth's rotation. Furthermore, the rotation of the Earth would not be stopped if our Earth were filled with water. As soon as the rotational speed is increased, friction occurs between the water and the inner surface of the transparent Earth due to inertia. However, when a constant rotational speed, for example 500 rotations per minute, has been reached, the water will rotate at the exact same speed as the transparent Earth. So, there can be no friction between the inside of the Earth and the water. The rotational speed will remain constant without the need for an external energy source. This phenomenon can be observed for all rotating objects, like our Earth, because there is absolutely nothing that can decrease the rotational speed. This observation applies also to a spinning top filled with water, because the water inside of it is an integral element of the rotational mass. By creating a wall between the upper and lower part, we lock the water in the lower part. Now, just air can be found in the upper part of the spinning top. This air rotates with a rotational speed of 500 rotations per minute. That is, it rotates as fast as the spinning top and the water. A high-pressure area at the outside of the spinning top is created because of the rotation and the weight of the water. Nozzles are installed right above this high-pressure area.
The pressurized water can then be released through the nozzles as a straight jet of water into the center. In case of a spinning top having a diameter of 1 meter and a speed of 500 rotations per minute, the water exerts a pressure of 43 psi at the high pressure area. The pressure rises to 700 psi as soon as the rotational speed reaches 2,000 rotations per minute. That way, the pressurized water can be released into the center through the nozzles. The nozzles eject the water right to the center of the spinning top where a deflection device has been installed. This device directs the water to the lower part of the spinning top. That way, a never-ending flow is created. Just like the currents and flows on our Earth that cannot stop the rotation of it, the flow cannot stop the spinning top. That way, the top will be rotating for 1,000 and even 100,000 years. This never-ending flow is capable of producing work. In this example, a symbolic turbine wheel is driven by the flow delivering mechanical energy. Thus, the energy stored in the system can be extracted without the need for another energy source. Consequently, it can be stated that the flow shown is an energy conservation system that makes it possible to extract a part of the energy without supplying the system with energy. It should be noted that the energy from the sun drives atmospheric processes and currents in the ocean. In the same manner, the centrifugal force drives the flows in a spinning top. This phenomenon is only possible through a physical quantity known as angular momentum, which remains constant for all time. The process described has been put to practical use by Rolf Cranin with the help of a fully functional prototype. Thank you.